I'm Dr. Nemeth Shah, consultant and interventional cardiologist. Having been trained in UK as a cardiologist for 13 years, I came back to India in 2014. My practice is based in South Mumbai and I'm attached to Safi Hospital, Bridge Candy Hospital, HN Reliance Hospital, Wokhart Hospital and Chesrok Hospital. You are right, heart attack is the leading cause of death in India, in fact all over the world. And it is exponentially increasing because of the various risk factors, changes in the lifestyle and in, in India more prevalence of diabetes as well. There are three treatments available for the heart attack. One is thrombolysis which is a medical treatment. Second is angioplasty like deploying a stand and third is a bypass operation. Coronary angioplasty is an invasive way of treating the blocked artery. So what we normally do, we do this procedure under local anesthesia. This is either done through the wrist or through the groin without put, putting patient at sleep or without any cuts. So what we do is we puncture the artery in the wrist or the groin, then pass a tube down your artery which goes into the heart. Then we inject the dye and see how the dye is flowing within that artery and find out any blockage, that is angiography. Once we identify the blockage and we go ahead with the treatment so through the same tube the wire is passed through that tube into the artery then a balloon is passed over the wire we place the balloon where the blockage is we inflate the balloon and open up the blockage the balloon is removed and then the stent which is like a metal meshwork like a spring which is mounted on the balloon which is passed over the same wire where the blockage is we inflate the balloon so the stent like a metal spring expands and hugs to the wall of the artery the balloon is deflated and the balloon is taken out and the metal spring or the stent stays there to keep the artery open that is angioplasty it's a very important question which i need to answer not every blockage requires a stand. It all depends how the patient has presented. For example, if the patient has present with a heart attack, that angioplasty becomes a life-saving procedure. If there's a significant blockage, if the mostly during the heart attack, the artery is 100% blocked, I need to open up as soon as possible. So that's the life-saving procedure. But if the patient has not presented with a heart attack and is just pre presented with angina, what is chest pain when he exert himself, and when we do an ang uh, angiography and we find there's a significant blockage, then apart from medical treatment, which remains the main treatment, even after putting a stent in, we would advise angioplasty. But there are other subset of patients who do not have much symptoms. For example, they have gone for the health checkup. And during the health checkup, the stress test, stress test might be slightly positive. They either go to CT coronary angiography or directly come for angiography because they are concerned because of strong family history and risk factors and we find there might be around 60, 70 or 80 percent blockage. If the patient doesn't have any symptoms, there's no mandate in putting a stent or doing a bypass operation. In fact, the research and the evidence says the medical treatment is as good as putting a stenting or doing a bypass operation. Unless we do another test, which are known as the ischemia test, for example, we do a dovotamine stress echo or we do a nuclear scan and we find when we put the heart at stress, there's significantly decrease in the blood supply to the heart muscle, then we can consider doing an angioplasty or bypass operation but if the patient doesn't have symptoms he can walk climb two stairs uh, without any symptoms even if they have a blockage they can be safely managed with medicines there's a bare metal stand which is just a simple metal spring and there's a drug eluting stand whether the drug coated on that metal which is gradually slowly released within the vessel water artery and there's a third type of stent which was made available which has now been taken up which is a bioabsorbable stent which is the stent would be completely absorbed and there would be no residue left within the artery so these have been taken off but there are few companies especially there's one indian company who is coming up with a newer version of that stent as well so we are waiting for the results of that interesting question no, it's not a financial condition. Uh, in fact, nine, more than 95% patient, of the patients do get drug eluting stand because there's a considerable added, added advantage and long-term benefit of a drug eluting stand compared to bare metal stand. We would still use a bare metal stand, a very small subset of patients, especially who are at an increased risk of bleeding. For example, once we put a drug eluting stand, we have to give them blood thinning medications at least for a few months or at least for 12 months. But if the patient has an increased bleeding risk, he's awaiting a surgery within a month or two, then we uh, deploy a bare metal stand so that, that blood thinning medications can be stopped quicker 
or earlier in a bare metal stand compared to drug eluting stand.